Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. So today is the last day of the January No Paper Left Behind Challenge that I was doing from Daniela Hayes' um, channel that she started the challenge. And so I will show you tomorrow exactly what I have for paper left over. I really didn't do that great this month. I had a lot on my plate going on with my husband being sick. And so I didn't uh, really complete the challenge as we were supposed to. But I do have a few pieces of paper left here. This paper, um, part of the red hearts, and part of the blue polka dots. And I received through Amazon today some cardstock bookmarkers, which um, one of my subscribers, Diane Parker, gave me the idea that with the paper I could also make some bookmarkers. So these came from um, Amazon and I got a lot of them. I don't even know how many I got actually. Oh, 150 pieces here. And then they also came with some cute tassels. And I think I got all this for $9.95. So the different tassels and then the cardstock and I also got some more they look more like a tag but it did come with the twine so I can make it into a, um, a bookmarker as well or a tag and this one doesn't even give me a count on here but i want to think it was 300 pieces for 897 and so i'm going to make a bookmark today with you folks so we'll get this out one of my great crafting friends here in uh, my hometown that i craft with once in a while mary she turned me on to this glue and it works fabulous and I just did a reorder on Amazon from it um, but it sticks to paper really well so I'm going to take my first piece of cardstock and turn it over and I am simply going to take my pencil and trace can you folks see no you can't I'm not really good at doing, um, ah, it's annoying. I'm not really good at doing this pointing camera down type thing. I'm trying to get better at it. Okay, so we are simply just going to trace around. I'm going to do two of them so I can do front and back. With this one, I am going to do the same paper on the front and the back. And I think I'm actually going to send one of my bookmarkers to Diane because she gave me the great idea to do this. And I just love Diane. She's a great uh, supporter of my channel. She doesn't have a channel of her own. She doesn't do video content, but she is a great supporter. And I love that she gave me this idea. And I am crafting in my living room tonight instead of my craft room because the hubs is home. And so I'm trying to enjoy some time with him. And he is doing a lot better. Okay, so now we are going to take some of this fabulous glue. Oi, I knew this was going to happen. It's plugged up in there. And I have to go into the other room and get my needle. I'll be back. Hey, guess what, you guys? It helps if you take the lid off. Err. Oh, my gosh. Tell my week's been stressful. <laughs> I forgot to take the lid off. That should be a new one. Okay, so here we are. 
I'm just going to put this right over the top here and then try to get it as even as you can. And we have our hole punch. Punch this hole. And then we are going to repeat on the other side, cut and glue to this, and I will be back. Okay, so here I have it glued on both sides. And then I just uh, went into my craft room and picked out some different stickers. Here's some stickers I have here. I got these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And uh, these my friend Mary gave to me. Some vintage, because this paper looks kind of vintage-y. And then I picked out a blue tassel. So we're going to go ahead and put that blue tassel through right now. Like so. Just like so. And then I also got these at, I do believe I got these at Dollar General for a dollar. I got these at the Dollar Tree. And I think I bought these on Amazon. So now we're just going to create. You're just going to decide what I want to use here. And I really love this um, feather. So I'm going to put the feather here. And well, that didn't work out. No, that's too big. I think I'm actually just going to leave it with just the feather right there and take some of these heart rhinestones, put a couple here like so. And these blue ones, they peel off in a strip, which is nice. I feel like I'm all thumbs today. Probably because I'm not used to filming like this. I'll get used to it eventually. There we go. How cute is that? You can pull these little um, glue strips off anywhere you choose. Oh, goodness, that's so cute. I'll take and put a few here. It needs one more. Guess what, you guys? My husband walked 80 steps today. Huh, honey? Yep. We are so proud of him. That is a lot. And there is my cute little bookmark, you guys. I'm not sure. Should I do something on the back side? Kind of think I should. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> and let's just put a few more of these hearts. Okay. 
Okay. First bookmark is complete. And you can get more extravagant or more simple, however you choose. I think this turned out adorable. Diane, if you're watching, this is coming your way. All right, you guys. That is one of my bookmarks. Just thought I would share that with you. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.